There's probably no more urgent diagnosis in general medicine than when people are having trouble catching their breath. This accounts for about 5% of all emergency room visits and about 50% of all admissions to the hospital. Most challenging is that breathlessness may be anywhere from a low-risk problem to one life-threatening. He came into the emergency room with the feeling of impending doom, chest pressure radiating into his neck, down his left arm, and he couldn't catch his breath. The blood clot in his coronary artery was diagnosed by history with a little help from an electrocardiogram, and his breath came back after a clot-busting IV drug. The college student came to the emergency room dramatically short of breath and had a normal lung exam, chest x-ray, and blood tests. She was emotionally overwhelmed by impending finals, and when we walked her in the hall, she felt better and her breathing calmed down. The trucker had noticed his legs swelling for a week, and now he couldn't catch his breath. The life-threatening pulmonary emboli, or blood clots from leg to lung, were proven by lung cat scan and effectively treated with anticoagulation. The young woman had a remarkable pale white face and was extremely short of breath. Profound anemia was proven by blood test and leukemia by bone marrow test. She lives a normal life now 20 years after her bone marrow transplant. The 12-year-old struggled with deep and rapid breathing. The air around her smelled fruity. Her lungs sounded clear by stethoscope. The blood test found high blood sugar, and her blood test for acid was high. Diabetic ketoacidosis was resolved over eight hours with insulin, and her breathlessness went away. The 70-year-old lifetime smoker came down with influenza given to him by his four-year-old non-immunized grandson, and his usual breathlessness occurring with any exertion worsened to the point that he was breathless just laying there. He died after three weeks of intensive care, steroids, antibiotics, even being placed on a respirator. I was a grade school kid having difficulty breathing and sleeping at night as the blossoming tree pollen blew across my bed. It was my prairie doctor from DeSmet who heard my story, listened to my heart and lungs, correctly diagnosed asthma, and provided the inhaler medicine that gratefully allowed me to sleep. The causes for breathlessness span almost all the organ systems of the body. One symptom potentially due to many problems. If you can't get your breath, you need to get some help.